Hey guys, Anthony here. It's Saturday, May 30th, 2020. Taking a break from all the riding and all the um, activity that's going on around the country to do this video today. Uh, picked up yesterday two more of the Bofang BF888S uh, radios, two-way radios. I already had four. I actually had six. I gave uh, two away uh, a couple years ago, so I wanted to get back up to six, so I got a two-pack. Uh, for under $30 from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. The radios come with, each comes with a charger, uh, an earpiece, the batteries, the lanyard, uh, the actual radio, uh, the booklet, the instruction booklet, and a nice little box here. And so what I did was, I just went ahead uh, yesterday, I screwed on the little back piece here. You just screw it on. For the bell clip, if that's what you want, I I like these. Uh, they're pretty sturdy, and uh, they don't come off. They're really have a really good spring on them. Um, and so then I label them with. Um, I just use a little sharpie, one of those colorized ones, and I labeled my radios, my new ones five and six. And then once I got it together, clip the battery on. You clip your battery on and screw your antenna down, it comes with the antenna. And now you have a two-way radio that has 16 channels. Um, I'll show you via the Chirp software how I uploaded the 15 stations, the uh, 13 FRS stations that I have, and the two local repeaters, two local 440 repeaters that I have on these radios, leaving channel 16 open as a scanning channel. Is on channel 16. You leave the radio on that. It scans all the other channels, and you can have a radio on scan and um, pick up whatever stations you're talking on. Uh, you got a little flashlight here on the uh, one side of the radio. What? So you turn, you power them on. Power on. What? You could change that, um, but I like it to be. Tell me what channel I'm on. Two, three, four, five. So it'll go, all, it'll go all the way to four, 16. Three, one. And little flashlight. Okay. And then this is your squelch button. This is your push to talk button right here. And this is where you would. So when I'm ready to upload the data. To the radio, I just simply peel this back. This is on most handheld radios. I take my BTEC cable, my authorized cable, and I just clip it into the radio like that. Turn on the radio and then go to my Chirp software, uh, erase what's ever on this radio so I can upload, download this radio as it comes from the box to my chirp, erase it, input, or excuse me, bring in the file that I have on my desktop, which I'm gonna show you in the chirp software right after this, and, um, and then upload that uh, to the radio, okay? And on these, I change the power settings on the first three stations is low power, the rest of them, the other 10 stations are uh, high power. Um, and then I just simply upload it. It takes two seconds to upload it to the radio. It's done. And then all I do is I could test radio five. Power on. What? So here's power, uh, excuse me, radio five, one of the new ones. And there's one of my older ones. Power on. What? Okay, so they're both on channel one. I'll key the my older one and it should come through. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. They're both working. So they're both on the same programming worked, okay? So that's how you do that, guys. For very inexpensive radio, these are used in schools. Um, I've seen them used in schools. Uh, people use them around the farm, around the yard, in the auto dealership the business, et cetera, um, for emergencies, for camping, for hiking, for, uh, you know, you're backing up your RV and your wife is um, 
telling you when you're going to crash into the fence. When you're not close enough, she could just get on one of these. Hey, honey, you're too close or you're right on target. Uh, stop the car, come back a little more. Very handy to have. They get great clarity, great distance. Um, these have held up for several years on multiple moves and held those frequencies. Everything works right. You could upgrade the antennas if you want uh, for better performance, but these perform what I need them for out of the box for short distances perfectly. So I'm going to add six more to bring me up to 12, and I'm good to go. All right, let's go to the chirp, and we'll show you how to program them. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Chirp software, and I'll, I put the link in the description box where you can download it off the uh, micklore.com site, or you could go to Chirp directly, but uh, micklore has a, um, a link for it. So once you go here, you could do a couple things on these BF888S radios. You can... Um, you can go to the radio icon and you could go to, where is it here? Um, you could go to import from stock configuration and it will pull up a bunch of sites and you could go to down to the UF FRS. So if I click this, it's going to bring up all the FRS and GMRS. So you could just deselect the GMRS ones. You can't include them in there because you have 16 channels, but you could deselect these and then hit OK and it'll load. Let me do that so you could see. I'll deselect 15 and 16. I'll hit OK and there you go. It just imported the the 14 FRS stations in there. Now you could hook your cable up to the radio. You can, um, once you hook your cable up to the radio, you can say upload to radio, click this, and it'll upload to the radio. So um, what I do is, since I already have my configuration, let me get rid of this here. So I'll... Uh, edit, select all, and delete. What I have on mine is on my desktop, I have my programming FRS stations, 13 of them, and then I put in two local repeaters on channel 14 and 15, as you can see here. So with that, I want to import this file and bring it up into Chirp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close that back out, open Chirp back up. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to say Import. Make sure I'm on my desktop, which I am. I think I am here. Yes, so I'll find the file, BF888S Frequencies. I did on May 14th. I'll click that, Open. It's going to bring those up here. I'm going to choose um, select everything. So I want all 15 channels, including the two local repeaters, leaving channel 16 empty as a scanning channel. So I'll hit OK. Again, it brings those in to my system. And then all I would do is hook my cable to the radio, go down here, upload to radio, I'm not going to do it, but it has Bofang, BF888. Once my radio is hooked up and turned on, I click OK, and it'll upload these frequencies into the radios, and that's how I loaded my two new ones that I bought, making it six now that I have. So that's how you do it using the Chirp software. Now, I plan on buying probably six more of these BF888S radios. So what I'll do is when I get the new ones in, I'll just unpack them, erase what's upload what's on the radio delete it upload this file uh, to chirp and then upload it to the radio and then all my radios will be the same frequencies and then what I did on my file was I went in each of these power settings 
because you could do two power settings on these. I put the first three channels on low, and then I use the rest of them on the higher wattage uh, channel. And then once I selected that, I uploaded it in, and all the radios will have the same configuration. So that's pretty much all you have to do using the Chirp software, guys. So when you get a new radio, that's all you have to do. Chirp supports many different brands, and uh, you won't have any problems. Um, you could go to YouTube, look at my videos or some others that are on there. It shows you step-by-step -step how to do it, and you'll be in business. And these Bofang 888S radios are great little two-way radios around the farm, the yard, the mall uh, for an emergency like I said, mine easily goes up to a half mile uh, to my mom's house and back here. And um, that's important to me. And a grid down or something where things weren't working, I could give my mom and dad a radio, keep it on a certain channel for them, and uh, talk to them back and forth. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Anthony signing off. Hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Anthony signing off. Stay ready.